Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. With enthusiasm. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. Mike check. My name is Michael Stone. My name is Michael Stone. I've come here from Toronto. I've come here from Toronto. New Mexico. New Mexico. Montreal. Montreal. And Occupy Wall Street. And Occupy Wall Street. So I want to talk a little bit. So I want to talk a little bit about what I've seen. About what I've seen. In some of the other Occupy movements. In some of the other Occupy movements. What I've learned. What I've learned. And some of my fears. And some of my fears. And some of my concerns. And some of my concerns. About the next stage. About the next stage. Of this movement. Of this movement. The next stage of this movement. The next stage of this movement. Is going to be. Is going to be. How we deal with conflict. How we deal with conflict. Internal conflict. Internal conflict. And the repression. And the repression. That will certainly come. That will certainly come. When the people in these buildings. When the people in these buildings. And the police. And the police. Become uptight. Become uptight. So first of all. So first of all. This is not a protest. This is not a protest. One thing I've learned, One thing I've learned in, this process, in this process is that this is not a protest. This is, not a protest. This is a movement. This is a movement. It's, hard for the media it's hard for the media to articulate, to articulate what, this is, what this movement is because we don't have demands. Because we don't have demands. But this is not true. Movements don't operate with demands. Movements don't operate with demands. Movements operate with process. Movements operate with process. Instead of making demands, instead of making demands that will be negotiated, that will be negotiated for, years for years with elected politicians. With elected politicians. Which we've already tried. Which we've already tried. For years, for years with elected politicians. Elected we're trying to demonstrate our values, and articulate something much bigger than demands. We're failing in our culture from a lack of imagination. And what we're achieving here is space for imagination. This is not just a revolution. It's a collective movement, it's a collective movement to, collectively pull to collectively pull a handbrake, a handbrake. An, emergency an emergency brake. This capitalist, this capitalist growth-based economy, growth -based economy can, only survive can only survive with growth, with growth at 3% a, a year. That means in 24 years, the size of this economy, of this economy will, double. will double. Our waterways, our, waterways, our, fish, our fish, our forests, our, forests, our, young, people our young people can't tolerate that kind of growth. So this is a crisis of growth. And the shadow side of our economic system is ecological degradation. And this is a movement, and this is a movement because, it's because it's diverse. In order to be diverse, in order to be diverse we, have to we have to communicate with people outside, with people outside and, beyond and beyond what we know. What we, know. We, have we have to communicate with those we don't know. We have to listen. We have to listen. This takes compassion, this takes compassion and imagination. And Compassion is hard work, but it's the work worth doing. Listening is hard work, but it's the work worth doing. So this Occupy movement has to learn to listen to other views in order to cultivate imagination again. This movement is going to win. Because it's not hierarchical. You can't meet hierarchy with hierarchy. You have to meet hierarchy with creativity.
The enemy of creativity, the enemy of creativity is, anger. is anger. When you're angry, when you're, angry you're, not creative. you're not creative. Because you think you're right, you think you're right and you think they're wrong. The 1%, 1 do, not deserve do not deserve our hatred. Our hatred. They, deserve they deserve our compassion. Our, compassion. our hatred, our hatred will, burn us out. will burn us out. So what we've achieved so far, so what we've achieved so far is, a space is a space where we're slowing down. It's too early to make demands. Instead, we have to stop, we have to stop and, wait and wait for our imagination, for our imagination collectively, collectively to come together to, come together, to, articulate, to articulate a way of living, a way of living based, on the values, based on the values of interdependence, of, interdependence, of, compassion, of compassion, of diversity, of diversity not anger. Not when you're, angry, when you're angry, don't do anything, don't, do anything, don't, say, anything, don't say anything, go for a walk, for a walk find, your breath, find your breath, practice yoga. Practice yoga. If, you're yoga if you're not into yoga, have a beer, have a beer find, your breath, find your breath, but don't do anything. Don't do anything. Find out how you feel. And underneath what you feel, and what you feel is, creativity. is creativity. But don't put up, don't put up the, invisible the invisible, idealistic, idealistic Gandhi, shield, Gandhi shield, which when it's philosophical, when it's philosophical gets, nothing done. gets nothing done. Anger is not bad. So you need to take the momentum of your anger. Because the momentum of anger, because the momentum of anger get, things get things done. But it only works, it only works if, it's if it's merged with creativity. So we need the momentum of anger because the next stage of this movement is going to be demonstrating how when we, when we meet, viewpoints, viewpoints opposed, to viewpoints, opposed to our viewpoints, anger arises. Anger arises. And we need to show, we need to show that, we can meet that anger, that we can meet that anger and opposing viewpoints, and opposing viewpoints with, creativity. with creativity. And that creativity, and that creativity is, going to show is going to show our values. Our values. This isn't about making demands. It's creating, it's creating a space for imagination, for imagination. And, we've and we've accomplished that. Yesterday evening, Yesterday evening I, was here I was here when a young woman died. Woman died. This, is tragic, this is tragic, but please don't turn her into a symbol. She's not a metaphor. Camping here is not a metaphor. It's not a, metaphor. It's not a philosophy. It's, not a philosophy. It's, being it's being human. What we need, what we need is, to be human. is to be human. We want the one percent to become human again. To become human again. To remain human. When the Buddha started assembling a community, he told them to wear robes and go and find robes out of discarded material. If the material had been eaten by rats, if material had been thrown away, you should take that material and make robes out of it. Whether you like the Buddha or not, this is a wonderful practice to take what's discarded and bring it into your heart. When there's diversity, 
We have to take parts of our community that we've discarded because there are people that we treat like garbage. There are parts of the ecosystem that we treat like garbage. There are parts of ourselves that we treat like garbage. And we have to take these pieces that we've compartmentalized and bring them into this space. That's how imagination happens. And that's how we'll win. It's not philosophical. It's not ideological. It's about showing and demonstrating simple living. Interdependence. Interdependence. Knowing how to take care, how to take care of, our of our anger. Not meeting anger, Not meeting anger. With, anger. with anger. Is this possible? Is this possible? We're, showing it. We're showing it. The media, the media don't, know how to report on this don't know how to report on this because the media need demands, because the media need demands and they need violence. And and we won't give them, won't give them demands, demands or, violence. or violence. We won't give them demands, give them demands because we're articulating a much bigger dream. And we won't give them violence because we're taking care of our anger. Those of you who live here, those of you who support this, you're undertaking a major responsibility to become peacemakers. Not this absurd term of peacekeeper, but making peace internally and making peace externally. That's why this is a spiritual movement creating a new kind of military, making peace, simultaneous peace inward and outward. This is the future of the military, is to make peace in all directions, and that's what we're showing. We don't need to articulate that with lists and demands. We need to show it. Don't be afraid to talk about love. Don't be afraid to talk about kindness. When we lose something, when we lose someone we love, when we finish an exhale, when we lose a paradigm, we're always so quick to find a new lover, a new paradigm, and it never works. Well, one night stands are kind of fun, but they don't last because we're too quick. And when we let go, and pull the brakes, we have to let there be space. And out of that space, we can articulate and imagine and sow the seeds of a different way of living. So don't feel under pressure to figure out demands. We need to enter the space that's only achieved when we pull the handbrake and we show in our bodies and we show in this camp that this movement is organized. It has structure. You can have structure without hierarchy. You can have structure and creativity without oppression, without sexism, without classism. And this is what we're showing. But it's painful. And what I worry about is you'll leave here and you'll forget that this movement transcends this park. 
transcends this park. Today, Today Occupy, Occupy is in 1980 cities. It's much bigger than this. Thank you, Thank you for, listening for listening to me. To me. I've, been to many I've been to many Occupies, and everyone is different. And, everyone is different. and they all have trouble. And, they all have trouble. and, they're, all and they're all winning. Because they have trouble. They have trouble. And, they're working it out. and they're working it out. And that's really hard work. And that's really hard work. But it's the work worth doing. Thank you.